Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so the nose, right? We, in another presentation that I did before, we talked about um, pre-qualifying someone before you give a presentation, you ask questions. That's a whole long thing, but you ask questions, trying to make sure if they can afford the oils, if they need the oils, if they want the oils, stuff like that. And that before you give a presentation, you ask that. And then, so if you've asked all that, you should not get many straight flat out no's. What you'll mostly get is maybes, right? And when you get a maybe, that is your time to, uh, like we say, roll up your sleeves and get to work and earn your paycheck, right? Because doing doTERRA, it's not meant to be just totally easy where you just put oils on people. You just uh, go to a, like a, a market and diffuse oils and then everyone's just going to flock to you like, like uh, moths to a flame and they're just going to give you all their enrollment. It's not, it's not meant to be that easy. It takes a little bit of work. If it were that easy, then we wouldn't be structured the way we were. We'd just be selling in stores. Okay. So now we're going to figure out our technique for dealing with objections. So this is my very basic technique, a basic framework, right? You listen to your objection and you decide if it's the real objection or not. And then you qualify it. Is this the only objection, right? Say it's price or, um, or uh, your spouse, you're not sure if, if, they, if they'll approve, right? Is that the only objection? And then you say it again, right? In your own words, just to make sure that you understand it. And then here you say, uh, like number four would be, if we figure out, like if price is your objection, if we can figure out a more affordable option, or if we can figure out how to lower the price, would you be ready, right? And then you work your way down. And then at the end, it, it ends up with the sale. Um, it would be good if you could like take a picture of this or something, just so you know in the future, if you ever have an objection, that this is what you want to bring them through to. Uh, you bring them through this to get to the sale. So going from an objection to the sale. Okay, so here are our common objections. And here is where I would need some of your help, right? So these are the common objections that I've heard, right? I want to think about it. I'll call you back send me information. I don't have money right now, right? Uh, I have another source or supplier. Right now, it's a bad time of year. It's uh, Christmas or summer or winter or COVID or my kids are starting school, anything like that, right? And then I need to speak to someone else. I need to speak to my wife, my husband, my business partner, my parents, my cousin, whatever, right? So all of those things are very common ones that I've heard, but I'd like to hear like what what objections have you heard before? Let me see. Um, here, boom. Here, copy. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, so any of these objections point to some sort of um, lack of understanding in, uh, they can be overcome with with um, increasing their number in any of the three tens. We've talked about this once before, but the three tens that we're talking about are on a scale of one to 10, one being the very lowest and 10 being totally, totally important, right? the, the very highest, right? Like, um, so if they have a one in trust in terms of you, it's like, I don't trust you at all. Anything you say, I believe, I think you're, I know you're lying right? And I would not buy anything from me. That's like a one. And then a five would be, I'm not sure if I trust you or not. Maybe I do whatever. Right. And then, uh, and then a 10 would be, I trust you totally. Whatever you say, I believe it's totally true. Like, I mean, for my wife, it's a little bit easier. People believe it's easier because she's a doctor. So because you're a doctor, I trust whatever you say, I'll take whatever you, whatever you tell me to do as many times as you tell me to take it. Right. So that would be a 10 on trust. So one thing, most of the time when you see a, a, um, an objection, it's a stall or a smoke screen to cover up one of these three tens, right? Because they would much rather say, um, well, Young Living has better diffusers than say, I don't trust you. I think you're a liar, 
right? So, I mean, just because they would rather, they would rather have the little white lie instead of like the, the harsh truth slapping you in the face, right? Number two would be um, how much do they trust doTERRA? Do they believe in CPTG? Do, do they believe in like co-impact sourcing, right? And then the third one would be how much do they trust, trust the product, right? Do they believe that essential oils will fix their issue, their ailment that they've been dealing with their whole life, right? So if you have a 10 on all three of these, then there's a sale possible. If there is not a 10, or if there is a, a very, very low number in any one of these, right? There is no sale possible. So they, they love the oil, they love the oils, they love Zoterra, but they hate you, right? Say you have a one on the you, right? Then they'll just find someone else, right? They'll just go through this list and say, oh, I'll just buy oils from her. I saw her before. I, I, I'll just uh, do hashtag Zoterra PH on um, Instagram and I'll just pick someone. I'll just message them and I'll order from them, right? If you're the issue, right? Second, it would be, um, I mean, you could take any of them away, right? So say they, they love you and they love the essential oils, but they hate doTERRA, right? So, okay, well, I'll just get oils from someone, from a, another company, from the other company, something like that. A, 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 did you have anything, AA? Okay, okay. Just wanted to show your face. I, I like it. Okay, so, okay. So now um, our issue is to move them up and increase their score on the three tens, right? Um, but um, I wanted to take some time to specifically go through, um, I have my top five objections that I've dealt with. So we're, we're gonna go through those, right? Okay, so um, number one objection is I wanna think about it, right? And this is a total stall or smoke screen, right? Um, if you pre-qualified them, if you've taught them, uh, you gave them a sample, you gave them a one hour presentation, they totally know everything about the oils, they felt the oils, they feel the oils, I, they smelled the oils, they tasted the, all these things, right? This is not a real objection. This is just a stall, right? So one option, this is one way that I, that I deal with it, right? I say, uh, perfect. All right, so I wanna think about it and I say, okay, I totally understand, right? Before, when I hear any objection, I say, okay, I told, I listened to the whole thing. Then I say, okay, I totally understand. But let me just ask you, do you like the idea? Does the idea make sense to you? Right. And, and just common sense, like they would say yes or no. And say, okay, you like the idea of essential oils. Okay, perfect. So thinking it over means you're interested in the oils, correct? And they say, yes. Okay. So you're not just saying that you're thinking about it to get rid of me, are you, right? And you say this in a humorous tone, right? Like you're, you're making a joke. No, 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 no. I, I like the oils. Okay. And then in the serious tone, you say, okay, um, I'll just choose the name Anna, right? So, you know, Anna, taking care of your health and wellness of your family is very serious. Is there anyone else that you'll have to think this over with? right? And this figures out if they are the sole person making the decision, right? And then maybe they say, no, 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 just me, right? Okay, Anna. And I, I've already asked her question, so I know, right? So Anna, I know you're an expert at fixing cars, right? But I'm an expert at essential oils. In my experience, sharing essential oils for the last eight years, most people say, most people that say I want to think things over develop questions that they don't know answers to. So why don't we just think it over together? Now, what's the main thing that you wanted to think about? And at this point, the smoke screen should fall down and then you get to figure out the main objection. And then when you can figure, when you can answer the main objections, then we could maybe get a sale. But if they're lying to you or giving you smoke screens and not giving you the main objection, you'll never get past the objection because you don't know what the real objection is, right? So a side note is if he or she says they're going to think it over with other people, then you have to think it over with everyone involved that's making the decision. So if they say my husband, my wife, whatever, right? You have to get in front of them to, um, to help them make this decision. Is there any questions about that? at all just let me know anytime there's a question just pop it up in the chat and then um and i can tend to it right the next question is 
Oh, so I'm pretty sure that um, with the corporate on this call, they would never do this, but I'm just me. So I, I'm, I, I could just do it. Right. So, okay. I want to check with other suppliers. Other suppliers might be, um, everyone always says YL, like YL is a bad word, whatever. Right. So, um, I want to check with Young Living or New Skin or Amway or my friend that sells oils at the kiosk in the mall or my friend in the barangay or whatever, right? So this is one of the objections, right? Okay, so in this objection, you may have a little, you do have some homework to do, but doing the homework will make you be more prepared and then will make it possible for you to get this sale if you want it. If you want success, then you're going to have to work, right? Okay, so... You say, hey, um, okay, I'll just, I mean, Anna's the only name that's popping up right now, so I'll just say, I'll, I'll, I'll use Edelin for this one, okay? So you know Edelin. A lot of my customers wanted to do the exact same thing before they bought oils from me. I'm sure you want to know you're getting the best product for the best price. Um, is that right? And then say, yes, right. Okay, can you tell me a few of the things that you'll be comparing and checking between us and another company? And then, or um, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, do you, can you tell me a few of the things that you'll be checking and comparing, right? And then whatever they say, first and second, are their real objections, right? So all of this, we're trying to get to real objections. We're not trying to deal with, with the fake stuff, right? Okay. So after you've compared these things with other companies, when you find ours is the best, you're going to buy from us, right? And, oh, yes, yes, I will. Okay. Okay. Great. A lot of customers want to shop and compare, but one of the main reasons that you're getting oils in the first place is because you want to save time. Time is very important. So to save you time, here's a chart of our top competitors and their prices. And then you show them the chart that you made with all the competitors, all their prices of all the different oils versus ours, whatever, right? And then once you're done showing them all of their concerns, okay, you wanted price, you wanted sourcing, you wanted um, smell or whatever, right? And I, I don't have those oils free to smell, but here's what I have, right? So you show them the whole chart. And then when you're almost done showing them the chart, you say, okay, ma'am, Madeline, when do you want to sign up for your wholesale account? Right? And it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not easy, but it's like you got to get there and you got to have the confidence to actually say that. Right now, Miss Adeline will be pleasantly surprised how well you did your homework and how they must either sign up or tell you their real objection. They're going to have to tell you now, right? Okay. There's, we have one more option for this is you can say, okay, um, Miss Adeline to tell you, uh, okay. So, um, Miss Adeline, uh, tell me what company that you'd like to compare and what items you'd like to compare with, right? And they're telling you, right? Or maybe they, they, they're telling you what they are, right? Okay, so. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, my notes are a little messed up here. Okay, so. Um, okay, the other option is that they tell you what the other companies they're comparing you with is. And I say, okay, well, what I can do is I can do that comparison for you, right? And then I'll get back to you with that information. And then they say, no, 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 don't worry about it. That's too much trouble. Um, I'll do it myself. And then you could say, ma'am, Edelin, your business is very important to me. I don't mind the work. This gives me a chance to make sure that we're on top of our game. And besides, we've never lost a one-to-one -one comparison. And then... With courage, you must say, did you want to go ahead and get started? Uh, do you want to get, go ahead and get started now? Or do you want to wait for the results of that comparison? Right? So that, then you'll have to do some work. But, I mean, we, we don't want free money. We want, to, we want to earn our money. Right? So, and dealing with objections is the way you earn rank and you earn the money that you deserve in, in your paycheck. Okay. So here, this I want to buy, but the price is too high, right? This is the most common objection ever and uh, the most classic objection, right? So uh, the first time there was ever sales in anywhere, I, I think they talk about the, 
the market at Damascus, right, uh, in the Fertile Crescent in, in the Middle East, the first market ever, someone sold one thing and someone said, oh man, that price is too high, right? And then like one of the very first things that I ever learned how to say when going to the market in the Philippines is, ah, no deal, that price is too high, right? The first thing I could say in Tagalog, right? So the price is too high will come. Everyone will always say this. So we might as well come up with an answer to it, right? So like, for example, I mean, just a little bit more about the price being high, Rolex and Louis Vuitton, they're expensive, right? But they're still in business selling product every day right there in Makati, right next to the corporate office, right? Um, so to co overcome this, uh, you must find out what the, act, what the prospect actually means when they say the price is too high. Because it could mean uh, one of five different things, right? So assuming that they're the person, they're actually the decision maker, right? Uh, that they're not saying the price is too high for, for their wife or for their husband or something like that. And assuming, um, yeah, yeah, assuming uh, that they want to buy, right? So assuming they want to buy and that they're the actual decision maker, there's only five things that um, they can mean when they say the price is too high. Number one is they can't afford it, right? It, it really is too high. They don't have the money. Number two is um, I can buy it somewhere else for cheaper, right? Which we know if it's, legitimate doTERRA, the price is set, right? So there's not much you can do about that. Okay. Number three is I don't want to buy it from you or your company. So the three tens, right? Um, number four is I don't understand the value of your product. That's the third of the three tens. And then number five is I'm not convinced yet. Right? So that means like just further, further talking to will, will help them help you with that. Right? So 50% of the time, like out of those out of those five things, 50% of the time, you, it's, it's a no, right? You're not going to make the sale because they already found their way out, right? But that means that the other, you still have 50% of chance to, to make the sale. So now we have to come up with ideas. We have to be creative so that we can overcome this objection. Um, the number one idea that I have is to put the, the answer to this objection into your presentation, right? So we want to present and give the answers prior to them asking the question. Because if we give the answer, then they won't even ask the question, right? So because we know that this, so I mean, whenever I present oils, it's basically just a presentation of all the objections that I've ever had, all accumulated into one presentation, and I'm just answering objections before they, before they happen, right? Okay, the second thing is, oh, so I mean, the way I can put that in your presentation is you compare your price per dose uh, to the price per dose of whatever they're using. Say I'm using this thing for back pain. Okay, how much does that cost per whatever, per pill, per drop, per whatever that is, right? Okay, that costs something like um, uh, 50 pesos per, per dose. Okay, cool. And here is how much essential oil, the same essential oil will cost uh, 27 pesos per, per dose. So art is actually cheaper than what you're using. Right. So, and then, I mean, one thing I, I always like to think is, okay, ma'am, you're thinking about pennies per day. You're not talking about value over your lifetime. Right. So in 30 years, when you have no liver issues from taking pills every day, you're going to thank me for, for getting this into your life. Right. Okay. So, a couple questions I have, all right, to qualify the sale are, would you buy it from me now, right now, if you had a lower price, right? And so you mean, other than price, there's no reason that we can't do business, right? So this is double qualifying that if I could figure out the price issue, then we're, then we're in business, right? Okay, so you mean, if I find a way to make it more affordable, you would take delivery now. Right? So that's triple qualifying. And then once they say yes, 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 okay, boom, right? So some more ideas are you can offer them something additional. You can offer them last month's oil of the month that you ordered because you're a builder, right? You can order them, you can give them half of your fast start pay, right? You get 20%, you give them back 10%, right? You can give them the Modern Essentials app that's on the phone. You can buy that for probably less than half of your fast start bonus. You can compare the price of the kit to price per dose, right? So in this whole thing, right, you get them 
even lower than price per dose because you're getting lower than wholesale price. You can suggest a smaller kit. They were thinking about the natural essentials, natural solutions kit. You could go to a family essentials kit. That's lower price. Or after you say that's lower price, but the price per drop is higher, you could actually resell them the same larger kit, right? So these are all just ideas, all the different things that I've done that worked, right? So um, it's just very important that you prepare these options in advance. You know for sure you're going to get this one. We know for sure someone at some time is going to say, I want it, but the price is high. You say, okay, cool. So you're telling me if I could work around the price, then we have something, right? And then you have your four or five different options, right? And you don't give, we don't give the options before we get the objection, right? We wait till we get the objection to give the options, right? Okay. Oh, uh, this one is I'm satisfied with my current supplier, right? So I wrote down these 12 things that they can actually mean when they say I'm satisfied with my current supplier. And this is the YL thing, right? Oh, um, I have a YL account. I'm satisfied with it, right? These are the 12 things that they mean by that, right? They mean the price is better. The quality is better. They have a relationship with the seller, right? You see all of these 12 things, right? It's important for you to understand what their satisfaction means, right? Does it mean, so, uh, so it, it, could you explain like, what do you mean by you're satisfied with your present supplier, right? Does that mean, and then you just give a couple examples and then they'll tell you what the real objection is, hopefully, right? And you need to know because half of these, you can work, you can work past, right? If it's quality, we have better quality, right? If you have, if it's, um, but if it's, this person is your personal friend and they do right here, number 10, they get personal, personalized favors. Uh, they come to your house and give you massages or something like that. It's like, well, I'm not going to do that. Right. So, so whatever. And then you just walk away. Right. Because that's, that's nothing you can really do to get past it. Or this person is my wife. Right. So, well, I mean, your wife is your supplier. There's nothing I can do to, to make, to, to switch you. But one thing I have done many times is do a head to head comparison. I say, you bring out all of your YL oils. I bring out all of my doTERRA oils. Okay. Here's peppermint here. Smell both. Here's uh, lavender smell both. And then there is a huge, huge disparity in, in the two there. Okay. So the next one, the last one is I need to talk to my whatever, right? Someone else, right? So the number one thing that I think whenever I hear this, I need to talk to my blank is I did not pre-qualify correctly, right? So I did not ask you the question, um, the basic question, is there anyone else that you work with on making decisions like this, right? This is the number one thing, right? Okay, so um, okay, so there are four steps to be taken if you have this uh, objection. The four steps are you get the per your number one, you get the prospect's personal approval. Number two, you get the prospect on your team. Number three, you arrange a meeting with all the deciders. And number four, you make your presentation again, the whole presentation again, right? Okay, so let's say, let's, let's go through these, right? Number one, you say, um, Matt Man, Madeline, if it were just you and you didn't need to talk to anyone else, would you buy the oil, right? Okay, so does this mean that you'll recommend the product to your husband, right? And do you want to get, you want to make sure before we, before we go any steps further, are you, are you on board? Right? Oh, one second. My slides are not presenting properly. Okay. Okay. I'll turn it off and I'll do it again. Okay. One second. Okay, we only have two slides, two more slides anyway. Okay, so we go here. 
Can you see the slides now? Look good. Okay. Yes, okay. Evan. Okay, okay, okay. It's just two more slides. Okay, so I need to talk to my husband, right, or, or wife, or whatever, right? So, okay. Once I once I get their personal approval, I go through a very basic checklist, right? So, okay. So you you would recommend the product. So very basic and. And I make the checklist up depending on who they're just, just so I can get them to say, yes, 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 yes. All right. Okay. So you would recommend it. Is the price okay? Yes. Is the product good? Yes. Uh, are we okay? Or do you trust me? Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, do you like the product enough to own it and use it every day? Yes. Right. Are you okay with doTERRA as a company? Yes. Right. What other doubt? Do you have any other doubts? Right. And then you can answer any, any questions. Right. So that's just a quick chance, boom, 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 just to make sure they're totally um, on your team. So the next thing is you get on the product, on the prospect's team, right? So you talk in terms of we and us. We, us, um, or the team, whatever, right? So when can we all get together? Uh, I'm sure you're gonna have questions that will need to be answered. Um, tell me a little bit about the other people involved. And then you write down, um, in this whole process, there's a lot of writing down, right? So you write down anything that you can figure out about the, okay, so my husband, he's a skeptical, but he has back pain. Oh, perfect, right? Okay, and what else, right? Oh, he also has stomach issues and he also is really, really cheap and whatever. Okay, then you write down all these things, right? Okay, number three is you arrange a meeting with all the people deciding, right? Okay, so when will your husband be able to meet? Do you want to meet him now? Whatever, right? And then you make the entire presentation totally again, right? You do not let Ma'am Edelin go back and make the presentation for you because it, in, this, in this hypothetical scenario, Ma'am Edelin, it's her first time ever hearing the presentation. So she's not as good at making the presentation as you are, right? So you want to make sure that you go make the presentation, not her alone, right? Okay, so here's another alternative. If Ma'am Edelin... If man Edelin were to say that she really, she, yes, if it were just me, I'd buy, buy the oils. I love the oils, right? Okay, cool. So you say, great. Um, well, if you love the oils, why not go ahead and sign the contract now and get the approval later? If you call me tomorrow, like uh, we have those um, wellness advocate agreements, right? Why not sign it now and then you go home and get the approval from your husband later? right? If you call me tomorrow and tell me no, I'll tear the contract. I won't enter it, right? Again, this, this objection can be totally prevented if you are qualifying the buyer. So this is the importance of always making sure that anyone you invite to the class or anyone you invite to hear the presentation, uh, they are fit to make the decision by themselves, right? If they are living with their parents and they can only use their parents' allowance, then you have to talk to their parents, not them, right? Okay, so that is five of our most common objections that I've dealt with, right? Then in the future, we are gonna have other objections, right? Let me see, I gotta move things around. In the future, we'll have other objections, right? So what we need to do is um, you write down the objections that you have in the future. If you ever come to a class and someone didn't buy for some reason, you write down why didn't they, what, what did they say that they didn't buy, right? Why, and then you write it down, right? And then if you could, you would wanna get a group of people together, right? You get together your downline, your customers, your prospects, your spouses, you get them all together and ask, what objections would you ever have to buying essential oils? Cause I'm just doing, I'm just trying to prepare myself to be um, a better salesperson of the oils, right? And they, a, a small side note is when you get them together to try the oils and tell you what their objections were, are, this is an opportunity to actually sell them oils, right? You put peppermint on them and they say, just tell me what objection would you have to that, right? And they say, actually, I would have no objections. Okay, perfect. Well, would you want to sign up for a kid? I'm just, just asking, right? And then maybe you may get some sales here, right? But what you do is you write down all the objections. You work with your upline. You work with... Um, our account manager, you work with Robin, right? And you figure out your answers to all of these objections, right? And you do it on some sort of like Google Doc or something like that, where you can always update it, right? And two things come from this is 
you will have a, like a living, breathing document that, that grows as you grow as a business person, right? And then second is you'll have a future handbook for, um, for any builders that you attract or that, that come on your team, right? You say, okay, these are the six objections that we have and here's how we answer them. Let's practice a little bit, right? So it's very important to write it down. There's a Chinese proverb that says, the faintest ink is more powerful than the strongest memory, right? So it's very important to write stuff down, right? And, um, and that's it. That's what I got on objections. Please write them down and please work with your uplines to help you um, answer those questions.